Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormus back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again for yet another video today. We have another Funko Friday. We're going to be taking a mini break from Star Wars this week just since yesterday was Halloween. And so happy Halloween to anyone that celebrates Halloween. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed some spooky movies, some horror movies, some Halloween movies um, and whatnot. But let's get into it. Uh, starting it off with Funko Friday horror edition or horror icons uh which is pretty fun so yeah i mean let's start with i mean actually most of these pops are like brand new have all come out this year i believe and i believe one of them is like a essentially a reprint of an original pop so we'll start with that one i think we might as well so let's let me push over and then let's start it off with jason Voorhees. so this is a pretty great pop um, with some pretty sweet details. Of course, the iconic hockey mask that is uh, uh, a part of Jason Voorhees. Uh, I watched all 12 of the Friday the 13th last year. I believe it was late last year. Yeah, I think it was like winter last year. Or it might have been earlier winter this year. Truthfully, I don't remember. Nonetheless... I watched all 12 of them, and I kind of always like liked Jason in media, but I actually quite fell in love with him, um, even though most of these movies are quite terrible, um, in my opinion at least, but uh, yeah, he's just an iconic horror villain, of course. Now let's take a look at how much this is worth, because like I said, I do believe this one actually uh, is a reprint, kind of, I guess, like a... Um, because it this one came out in 2013, but obviously it did not come out in 2013. I've got uh, this brand new edition uh, that came in stores earlier this year. It is available, uh, which is basically why, you know, this pop is originally from 2013, but they're still making it, which is why it would be available. And yeah, I mean, this is one of the first, you know, which is pretty crazy, so... This is currently worth $24, um, it's not worth a whole lot. I'm sure it would have been worth more pre, um, per, or, you know, pre, I guess, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pre uh, refabrication, I guess, since they were made once again. But nonetheless, a pop I enjoy and uh, I'm happy to have in the collection. So then the next four are um, all very new, I believe. So. You know what, we're going to start it off with uh, something I did earlier this year, mostly earlier this summer, if you guys remember. I went through all of the original Monsters, uh, or Universal Monster movies. Uh, well, I think there's like a few that I left out, but let's take a look at Frankenstein from the Universal Monsters. Now, this is a pretty awesome set as well. This Frankenstein looks really great, and I love the, like, this is fully a Halloween box. The green, the orange, the black, I love it. And of course, the set is pretty interesting. Of course, we have Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Gilman from The Creature of the Black Lagoon, The Wolfman from Wolfman or The Wolfman, and then Dracula, of course, from Dracula. So, the only one that's missing, which is also my favorite, is The Invisible Man. Now, I have The Invisible Man in my uh, wish list. I would love to get the, uh, probably the black and white pop at some point. Uh, because I really, really loved that one. That was my favorite by far uh, of the Universal Monsters. So hopefully I'll get that pop someday. It's not really worth too much, but I'm sure it's just hard to find. So maybe one day. But uh, yeah, Frankenstein nonetheless is pretty cool. Uh, there's stickers on it. Let me see if I can get these stickers off pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall from this set, I had seen... I'm pretty sure I'd seen all five of them at some point uh, throughout this summer and fall, but I only decided to buy two, um, which they are my two favorites because the other three I just didn't really want as pops, where these two I did want. So let's start it off, of course, with Frankenstein. Let's see. Uh, this one is currently worth $19. Uh, it's currently uh, releasing in 2024, like I mentioned. So. A brand new pop earlier this year and of course from the Universal Monsters set it looks like there are going to be more coming out from that set or that have already come out from that set some black and whites uh, some two packs there's it looks like there's a whole bunch so 
yeah, I want the Invisible Man though. That's that's the one that I want. Uh, looks like there's even some sodas coming out for some of them. Um, yeah, like there's some that I can see here that haven't been released yet, like the Phantom, um, the Mole, uh, the Invisible Man, the Mummy. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot uh, that could still come, which who knows, maybe one day. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, Frankenstein, cool. Let's move on to Frankenstein's Bride. The Bride of Frankenstein, of course, which this one is quite iconic as well. Her hair, especially, super, super iconic. Um, and yeah, I like the different colors of this one. This is more like a midnight purple and blue, like dark blue kind of kind of vibe, I guess, which I quite enjoy, especially it's quite a different contrast from what the Frankenstein box looks like. So I like they're, they're each kind of oriented to the character, uh, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, let me just quickly uh, take this sticker off as well. I got both of these from my local Hot Topic. Uh, actually, most of these pops, actually, I think all five of these pops came from my local Hot Topic. So I usually get most of my pops from Hot Topic or GameStop. So that's not really surprising, I guess. But yeah, I mean, still pretty cool, I guess. So uh, let's take a look how much this Bride of Frankenstein is currently worth, which is uh, currently $23, so that's cool. Uh, a little bit more than Frankenstein, I believe, but overall, again, just a nice pop to have for the collection, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Bride of Frankenstein. It was my favorite of the uh, Frankenstein movies uh, of the original, so yeah, I figured might as well pick up both of them. And yeah, also a 2024 release, of course. So let's move on to my favorite character uh, of this video for sure, which is uh, Ghostface. This, in my opinion, is the most iconic horror villain, probably, I would say, if not, maybe Michael Myers. Like, if I had... Ha, ah, man, it's so hard to, like, rank the most iconic horror villains. Like, Dracula would be up there, of course. Ghostface, Michael Myers, Jason, um, you know, and Frankenstein, really, as well, I'd say. Like... There's an infinite amount of horror icons, but uh, the Ghostface is my favorite. So this is a new pop. Uh, I would love to get the original of the Ghostface, uh, which I don't know if I'll ever get that. That's a pretty expensive pop. So uh, of course, like I had mentioned earlier, this one is brand new as well. Um, so this one is currently worth $26. Uh, like I said, also brand new. Came out in 2024. Um, and of course, a part of the Scream franchise, which there's not a whole lot of uh, Scream or Ghostface Pops. Again, I'd love to get that original one. It's currently in my wish list. came out in 2014, and it's worth uh, almost $150. But yeah, like I said, there's really not that many Ghostface, so it's nice to at least have one in my collection. And funnily enough, I mean, I actually have two because my newest pop to be added to this collection uh, is very, very awesome. A part of the 2024 Hot Topic uh, Scarefest, I believe it is. Uh, Scarefair, sorry. Scarefair um, event, which is this awesome ghost face covered in blood uh, all over, which is really cool. I love the sleek black and red box. It looks really nice. Uh, this one's in pretty good condition. I actually ended up buying this second hand because I was not able to get my hands on this uh, on this pop, unfortunately. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But what can you do, I guess? Let's take a look about how this one is currently worth. Uh, so I think this one's actually the newest. This one currently doesn't have a value, uh, funnily enough. So no value for this one, which happens. I mean, it's so new, it doesn't have a value yet, which is not surprising, it happens. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite pop in this video. Um, yeah, so real quick, I did mention Michael Myers earlier uh, in the video. Uh, I just finished the last of the Halloween movies, number 13 of 13, uh, about an hour ago, maybe less than an hour ago now. Uh, no, about an hour and a half ago, I'd say. So, yeah, I watched all 13 of them within the past week. Michael Myers, definitely not my favorite horror villain, but I definitely grew to appreciate and love him more in the newer movies, in the 2000s movies. 
rather than the originals. Um, but it doesn't really make me want to get a pop, but maybe I will one day. We'll see. So, nonetheless, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Halloween.